<laughs> What's up Team Oak House? Welcome back to the backyard park. We haven't been back here in a minute because the snow was bad for building. Everything we would build would just fall apart and just meh. But now we have an insane amount of snow. This rail is like belly button height and right now it's literally touching the snow. Those rails are buried. The five foot rainbow is more like a three foot rainbow. It's an ungodly amount of snow, but we will do our digging. We'll get it shaped up because we have a very important thing, a very important announcement. We have what we've been talking about, what we've wanted. It's finally done. It works. We need, there's a little bit of work we got to do on it today, but we have a tow rope now. This thing is rad. It's uh, we should have covered it up yesterday, but it's covered in snow. We have new, we just got to refix the tension. We actually got a better cleaner looking tension system coming in today. We got to tow up in the backyard park. So now we'll get everything kind of shaped up, hittable. We're not going to dig out anything. We're going to get it hittable with how much snow it has. It's springtime guys, you know, it's going to melt down. Sorry, it's going to it's going to start to get taller once all the snow goes away, but we can have as much fun in the backyard without working hard. You want to turn her on? I'm so excited. Like literally, I cannot wait to get like a thousand laps back here today in an hour instead of hiking up this. Enough talking. Let's uh let's get these rails ready and let's let's hit this. One feature ready to hit. Basically, this thing is in the ground. This thing, once again, is normally belly button height. I'm so hyped at the backyard park has this much snow. Yeah, as long as it's kind of smooth. And we did have a no ride on rule in the backyard park. Kind of different scenario now since we're buried in snow. Little shoveling tip or kilder. Anytime you're building a kicker or anything you're doing, it's always easier to shovel downhill than uphill. That's the most common sense thing you probably heard, but like, trust me. Another rail, ready to go. I literally hate seeing it as a ride on, but whatever. Same thing with this guy. We kind of can't really build a lip for it. <laughs> I right, said so the park's all shaped up, ready to go, and just in time for Chris, the mastermind behind this. So me and Cody, mainly Cody, but we built a first version, version one. Didn't work. Chris came over and goes, you guys are idiots. <laughs> built version I was two nicer than that <laughs> version two is working great the best part about version two is it's also wakeboard wrench so we're gonna be wakeboarding a lot in the summertime we now have a heavy but portable winch to hit some street spots you know in the cold colorado Mount, rocky mountain waters so we're putting a what's it called come along on the back for tension and then me and cody are going to go down here real quick and kind of clean up our splice We crank her on, we snowboard. Woo! I'm so excited. All right, let's ride down and give this thing a shot. Dude, it's such a fast tow rope. We're, we're cruising. Okay, so we're gonna have Cody time a lap really quick. I'll tell him when to hit start, and then he'll tell us how fast the lap was. I drop. Seconds. 22 seconds. Are you kidding me? That's almost three hits a, a minute. Two hundred and eighty an hour. If you just, we're gonna get real Midwest out here in Colorado. We'll talk about the tow rope later. Let's set up on a feature. Let's do this first row. Yeah, 
the going was good until the going exploded. There goes our session. That was sick too. Yeah, right there. Get her. She's a Yay. little shredded. Buy a sticker so we can buy some belts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, since we can't ride the tow rope, we can at least build, we always wanted a quarter pipe at the bottom of the park. We got a lot of people here today. We got to order a new belt. Go dig a little bit. I didn't even get to hit the rainbow yet. All right, so here's our bump. We just got to pile a bunch of snow. All right, we got a mound of snow. We put some work in, especially having four dudes. Yeah, yeah. So it's about currently shoulder high. Yeah, about shoulder high. The idea too is like you come up this way and bring your momentum back down and then grab the tow rope in, in motion. And we're not shaping this until this sits for a little bit and you gotta let it firm up. I am impressed we got that much snow right there. So Chris just gave us a idea for a new feature in the backyard park that I didn't even, I didn't even think about. But I gotta go get the, the box real quick. I'm so sad it, it broke. It looked so good. Give me the box. And then it just needs to be that long. So just like the quarter pipe got to sit before we finalize what it's going to look like, it's going to be a, a spine with a box on top that you can like stall or do something on and it'll flip over. All right guys, so we wanted this to be a full video today, but obviously the tow rope exploded on us. So we don't have full videos. This is going to be one of those times where we like teleport to another day where we like film stuff, but it wasn't a full video. And yes, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's like, you, you know. It, all right, we're actually still in the backyard. It's a couple days later. We ordered belts. They showed up way faster than we thought they would. The rope is working. The features we built are shaped. Let's just have a session. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It's fitting. Let's go. Maybe I should have done this before we turn on the edge in, but I am going to do it before we do our first drop. And that is today's sticker shout out. We got that snowbird with the white sticker on the helmet. Looking insane, guys. If you want to support the channel so we can make tow ropes and get rails for the backyard, stuff like that, snagging a sticker is a great way to do it. All the evolution stickers are linked down below. You know, this is an operation. It, it takes some time to do it, and I wouldn't be here without your guys' support. Everyone that's out there rocking the sticker, Team Hawk Alice, you guys are incredible. Thank you so much. And what, I love saying what up to you guys when you're rocking it. I love doing the sticker shout out, showing off how you put it on your gear. It's insane. So guys, thank you so much for all the love and support by snagging the stickers. If you do snag, I'm tagging them on my Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the vlogs like I just did, but also make sure you're following the Instagram, the TikTok, and the YouTube short for that bonus vertical extra short form content. We're gonna keep that kind of short. I'm ready to rip with this tow rope. Watch out for all that chunder, Cody. <laughs> all right, that was our first hit on those features. The popper is a little interesting. It's the perfect feature at the bottom to like. Our uh, top pulley at the bottom fell off. We have to investigate, stop the rope. It kind of looks like it was throwing some stuff. 
but it like looks like a natural kind of wear down from like a fresh belt. So they're discharging some rubber. So we've lost basically two belts on this rope, figuring out how to use it. And the reason why you kind of come up with an idea is that we uh, were running it too fast. So we cranked down it from the 22 second lap to, we haven't timed the new lap yet, but it's a lot slower, but it's still a lap that's pretty fast and we're not hiking, which is sick. However, we do need to ride down there and see why our top pulley fell off the support pole. Our rainbow rail isn't as big as it used to be. <laughs> so before we talk about all of this, I do want to mention, everyone's like, where's the tow rope, where's the tow rope? When you're building something from scratch, you're gonna run into issues like your bottom wheel popping off, or you bust a rope or a belt and you gotta order more belts, things like that. It's not a like build it, turn it on, it works right away. So obviously we got some kinks to work out before we have a tow rope that's as consistent as a ski resort's tow rope. Yeah, and then when this thing's roll running, I almost got a shot of it earlier because these two wheels are just like bouncing like crazy. So it just, it just rattled it loose. That might be good. Got two. At least all these parts are easy to replace too. Turn it on, Nate. That's our bouncing situation we got going on. Now, I do have a question for you guys. Now that we have a tow rope and it runs, does this technically count as our own ski resort? Oh, she's good. Mess that one up. <laughs> almost like bounced. Oh, whoa. I think if I skip the rail, I can get the front board. Just go for the rainbow. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we gotta get more 90. But it's a big deal we get this front board on this rainbow. One, because we have a tow rope and we get as many hits on it as we want. Two, when we built that thing, that's what my dream was like, ugh. Oh front board. That one felt more 90. Woo! Oh. <laughs> this is bumps. I don't ski bumps. Roll 50-50, 180 out. Oh, and he stomps. So we wanted this feature to be like a stall feature. We're gonna go slow and get creative. Oh. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this tower up so much. <laughs> So the best part about a tow rope, we're gonna session the bottom feature. Like we don't have to go to the top now. Like we could literally just like drop off here. Oh, Cody almost had it. Oh! I mean, it's basically a, a got it. I'm not supposed to go this way. Yeah, dude! I stomped it! Stomped it! That was sick! That was so good. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. That's why you should get crash pants, by the way. I totally smacked my tailbone right on that rail. But, crash pants, didn't even feel it. Crash pants and all of our other gears in the description if you need snowboard gear. We're almost done, too. I kind of want to get a good one. 
Let me get out of here. Oh, Cody's a oh, G. He's getting greedy. Sorry, quarter pipe. We did it. That's a dub. I'll do one attempt on a board slide. <laughs> Cody can have that one. It's because you you have committed that. I'm way too fast. I'll catch you, Cody. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was joking, and then he was like, full commit me catching him. Look, Nate, I have committed that because me and this real have history, man. I blew my kneecap out on it. All right, Team Alcals. What a session. And this was like this, the warm-up session, like test how everything is with an ungodly amount of snow back here. We should have a lot more days in the end of the season back here because we got a lot of snow. It will melt fast, but for now, sticking around, we're sessioning it. One of the worst parts to a backyard park though is we gotta fix like the quarter pipe and all the lips that we just hit. We're not gonna make you guys watch that, but thank you so much for watching. Keep evolving and we'll see the guys tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel. We do stuff like this daily. daily.